Princess Diana is remembered with great affection by people all around the world, and her timeless elegance still enthralls viewers. Princess Diana was the most stylish of all the royals. As a matter of fact, Princess Diana was the epitome of stylish sustainability. If you're looking for methods to give old clothes a new lease on life, these are some amazing ways she did just that. Diana was spotted wearing a patterned two-piece outfit at the 1981 Wimbledon Finals before she was made into a princess. She wore the skirt to a polo match with a white top and a red sweater, demonstrating her continued appreciation for these wardrobe essentials four years later. Princess Diana wore a shiny purple skirt with a printed top. At a Claridge's feast, the princess looked incredibly majestic thanks to her large, ruched bottom. A few years later, when paired with a column skirt, it looked right out of the 90s. Additionally, Princess Diana donned a pink ruffled polka dot dress. During a Melbourne concert, the Catherine Walker design resembled something from a fantasy. With puff sleeves and a drop waist, Diana's dress had a completely different appearance three years later, all owing to a tailor. Diana went all out for a 1986 derby, finishing off her elegant ensemble with white stockings and a wide-brimmed hat. A tiny adjustment made a big effect, making the item appear modern and streamlined. Princess Diana made the outfit more elegant with a pearl necklace and a plunging black skirt. She could easily make it work for a polo match by tucking in her shirt and switching to a white skirt, which gave the outfit a much more relaxed vibe. Diana wore a simple, carefree look in 1981 by draping her top over a matching dress. The item reappeared two years later, properly secured and wearing a hat this time. Diana's Machino ensemble was guaranteed to turn heads thanks to her striped scarf and netted hat. The next year, the royals toned things down, swapping off the embellishment for a simple black item. When Diana was in Lisbon, Portugal in 1987, she experienced a glamorous moment reminiscent of the dynasty. It was a much more classic and slightly sexier version of the dress by 1989. On her 1987 trip to Lisbon, Diana packed a handful of her best outfits. She's wearing the same skirt, just different in style. In Cannes, only a few months later, when Diana attends a polo tournament in Windsor in June 1986, she is dressed in a Mondi white skirt with red polka dots ankle socks. While visiting Melbourne, Australia, she gets showered with flowers from well-wishers while wearing the identical skirt. Diana was one of the many members of the royal family that adore their plaid. This Caroline Charles Tartan outfit was a favorite of the late princess. She altered the neckline before donning it once more in 1985 after wearing it at the Bremar Highland Games in Scotland in 1981. Princess Diana picked out this red and white dress with great care for a 1986 trip to Japan, much like Kate Middleton meticulously selects clothing from local designers for her international travels. It has the appearance of the Japanese flag, but it also looks completely current thanks to the large polka dots that go back to the 1980s. The polka dot dress once more for the 1986 Trooping the Color procession, which took place on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Diana wasn't raised in a royal household, so she wasn't used to impulsively purchasing new clothes. Yes, when she became a princess, her closet was enormous, but she also brought back her favorite items from the past. Watch this space for updates. We appreciate you seeing the Adrenaline Reality Hub.